Sample Mounting for SEM, Mounting Samples with Conductive Silver Liquid. This video is brought to you by the Electron Microscope Unit at the University of New South Wales Mark Wainwright Analytical Centre, a node of the Microscopy Australia network. The mounting method described here is useful for applications where it is essential to keep the sample absolutely physically immobile during data acquisition, such as focused ion beam work, electron backscatter diffraction analysis, atomic force microscopy, and high-resolution imaging at high tilt angles. It can also be used to mount samples with irregular shapes that do not adhere well to double-sided tape-style adhesives. The silver liquid acts as a glue that maintains conductivity while fixing the sample to the SEM stub with no physical drift once fully dried. When mounting samples for SEM, our main goals are to secure the sample to the SEM stub so that it does not move during examination in the microscope, and to ensure that the negative charge generated by the electron beam has a pathway away from the sample surface to the conductive stub base. Materials. For this procedure, you will need a sample or piece of sample, a SEM stub, a fine permanent marker, gloves, tweezers or forceps, conductive silver liquid, and a SEM sample storage box. Additional materials you may find useful include a vortex mixer, a disposable toothpick or skewer, a stub lifter, and a pin stub holder. Preparation method. Please note, handling of conductive silver liquid must be conducted in a fume cupboard with the sash pulled down as low as possible to ensure efficient extraction. Step one, put on gloves. Always keep fingerprints off anything that will go into the SEM chamber, such as stubs and samples. Step two, choose a stub compatible with the instrument you will be using. In the UNSW EMU, 12.5 mm and 26 mm pin stubs are commonly used for FIB or EBSD work. Metal discs or trapezoidal mounts are often used for AFM applications. Step 3. Label your SEM stub with the sample name or ID code. Step 4. Gather all required materials in the fume cupboard. Step 5. Ensure you have the appropriate gloves on to work at the fume cupboard and lower the fume cupboard sash. Step 6. With the container securely closed, ensure the conductive silver liquid is well mixed. At the UNSW EMU, a vortex mixer is provided in the Preparation Lab fume cupboard. Step 7. Apply a very small amount of silver liquid to the stub. Note, using too much conductive silver liquid can cause the sample edges and surface to be obscured by an overflow of adhesive. Only use enough to ensure adhesion of the sample to the stub. Step 8. Place the sample on the stub and position in the desired location. Add a small amount of additional conductive silver liquid if needed. Step 9. Carefully place the mounted sample into a secure storage container labeled with your name, contact details, and the date the sample is to be collected. Step 10. In the fume cupboard, allow the adhered sample to dry completely. Samples must be left to dry for at least one hour. Leaving samples to dry overnight is recommended. Ensure that the sample is completely dry before attempting examination in a microscope. If you detect any residual solvent smell when removing your sample from the fume cupboard, immediately replace the sample in the fume cupboard and leave to dry further. Once finished with the liquid, replace the cap securely to ensure the container does not dry out. Step 11. Once fully dry, the sample can be removed from the fume cupboard for examination or storage in a secure SEM storage box. Keep samples stored in a clean, dry environment. 